Okay, let's let's just get rid of the fluff content here because we we don't need any fluff when we're talking about a potential movie of the year material right here, right? I'm going to see Red One November 15th, probably going to be the best movie of the year. It's been some stiff competition, you know. Uh, Despicable Me 4 came out, Harold and the Purple Crayon, you know, stiff competition. That Joker movie, I think that Joker movie is probably going to rank pretty low on most people's lists, honestly. Because Red One is just going to be so good. Going to be best movie material ever, okay? Are you telling me this clown is a level 4 naughty lister? A level 4 naughty lister? Oh, is that funny hey, to hey, you? Hey, hey. Now some of you might be saying, what is Red One? To which I say... Are you even a real human being? Because Red One is the most highly anticipated movie for November 15th. There's no other important movies premiering on November 15th. Red One is going to be the only one to exist ever in November 15th. Okay, so so let's look at let's look at the cast for this movie because as we know, the cast is the most important part of a movie. Uh you know, that was true with Despicable Me 4 and guess what? Uh, Steve Carell being in that movie, you know, Michael Scott, it made it a five-star movie. So we, we look at the cast for Red One, and who do we got? We got, uh, we got the guy from Spider-Man. Uh, we, we got that, we got that woman from that one episode of Futurama. She fell in love with Bender or something. Uh. Who are you talking to? No one, baby. Lucy Liu is the only girl for Bender. I love you too. We got Captain America playing like Jack Frost or something. I, I think it's gonna be revealed that he's Jack Frost because his name is Jack. I'm bringing in Jack O'Malley. Sorry if I'm spoiling the movie before it comes out. I just have a really expansive brain to be thinking of potential plot points for Red One. And then of course, to top off the cast, we got Barack the Broccoli Rock Johnson being the best character in the film, obviously. You know, he, he like loves the reindeer or something. I don't know. That's it's kind of weird. Of course, your boyfriend's here. Okay. <laughs> okay. Maybe the Brock should not be in this one, you know? Maybe the Brock should just worry about uh, remaking Moana 2 and uh, Black Adam 2. I feel like those movies might be a better suit for him, but you know what? They've already filmed all the scenes. So I guess you can't really do anything else with it. What I'm really waiting for is this to be the first film in the Red One cinematic universe. You know, uh, who, who's to say that we're not also going to get a green one or a, a, a Red One 2? Maybe this movie will even be in the Christmas Chronicles universe. You know, we'll get uh, the guy who played Snake Plissken, uh, <laughs> Snake from Metal Gear Solid. <laughs> Snake, you know who that is? You're kidding, right? It's a level four naughty lister. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, let, let's be serious here now. Let's be serious here now. The Red One movie trailer is one of the best movie trailers ever made. Someone took Nick. So, so let's go over the plot from the trailer, okay? So, Santa Claus is kidnapped. How did they do this? I have no clue. Santa Claus has like a top secret military base. He is jacked. How is he kidnapped? I don't know. He is. So anyway, Santa Claus is kidnapped and then Dwayne the Brock Rock, Rockley Brockley, Rockley, Rockledge, Stone, Johnson comes over and he's like, oh my God, they stole Santa Claus. And then we got the lady from that one episode of Futurama and she's like, hey, uh, Jack, Jack Mallet face something. I don't know. I think that's his name. I'm bringing in Jack O'Malley. So then she's like, oh yeah, Jack, we need you to save Santa Claus. But then the Brock's like, whoa, 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 whoa. He's a level four naughty lister. We can't, we, we can't have him same as Santa Claus. Are you telling me this clown is a level four naughty lister? A level four naughty lister? Oh, so that's fine. And, and then they have the big bear come out, you know, the bear. You guys don't know the bear? He's, he's like the best character, the bear. Okay, the bear, the bear. Anyways, Jack's just like the best in the business. He can take candy from a baby. The hardest jobs in the entire world, Jack can do that, no problem. And then it's like, now they gotta try and find Santa Claus. They're, they're going all across the, the entirety of the world. You know, they go to like Hawaii and then they're attacked by these big snowmen who I swear to God are just stolen from like something else entirely. And then and then uh, Captain America's like, oh, that's very scary. I don't like these snowmen. They're not very cool. And the Brock's like, well, you know what? We gotta fight these snowmen. 
And it's like, how, how, how do they even survive in Hawaii? I don't see snowmen in Hawaii. Y you need to fix the script, okay? You need to fix the script, you know, Actually, maybe I'm just stupid. Maybe there is snow in Hawaii and uh, but then we get to the best scene in the trailer Okay, the absolute best scene and that is uh, when Krampus starts slap boxing other people <laughs> Interesting. And then there's the iconic scene. This is going to go down as one of the best scenes in history. You know, up there is with the Goodfellas scenes and like and the Godfather and, and like the Shining. You know, this one scene is going to top all of them. And that is when the Brock and Captain America, they go into a store, a toy store. Toys R Us doesn't exist anymore, so I don't even know how, how, how they're going to a toy store. Anyways, they go into the toy store, they grab the toys, and then the Brock is like, hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna enhance this car so then it's gonna be big and then we can go vroom vroom drive around in the car and then we can find the red one. And then Captain America's like, hey, that's really interesting. Hey, do you have uh, a Wonder Woman doll. You don't have a Wonder Woman action figure, do you? It's not how it works. Come on. And it's like, haha, this is so amazing because this isn't even made by the people who made Black Adam or Batman. So him asking for Wonder Woman is just like so cool because they actually had to like really try to get that into the movie. So that's something that they really needed. And it's also really funny because, uh, Reference? You don't have a Wonder Woman action figure, do you? Red One's gonna be the best movie of the year. After watching the trailer for it, when going to see Despicable Me 4, you know, there's three trailers I saw, The Wild Robot, Paddington 3, and then Red One. I knew that Red One is gonna be the movie of the year. The best one out of the three, obviously. Wild Robot... I <laughs> Who even wants to watch that movie? It's animated. Paddington 3? The bear is just gonna eat the people. The bear just eats people in those movies. That's what those movies are about, right? Who wants to see that for like an hour and 30 minutes when I could be watching Red One where they capture Santa Claus? You know, this isn't your daddy Santa Claus. This Santa Claus is jacked and played by the guy who verbally abused the kid in Whiplash. Red One is really just santa claus into the santa verse it's not even red one but they're just trying to hide that because sony is just so upset that they thought of a better multiverse movie so ultimately what i gotta say is i haven't even seen the red one movie yet but i'm already gonna think it's five stars it's five stars already even when the movie comes out i don't think my opinion will change at all it's still gonna be five stars it's probably gonna be nominated for an oscar and uh an academy award and a pulitzer prize and uh, a medal of honor and uh and then the president's gonna be like oh i i really like this movie this is the best movie ever made you know george washington's gonna come out of the grave and be like you know what i came out of the grave to see red one and it was not a disappointment it's the best movie i've ever seen and you know what i can die again happy knowing that santa claus finally became jk simmons and i'm his friend jesus